Hey guys, welcome to Park Hill, Oklahoma, home of Ray Kirk Knives. Ray's been doing this a long time. He's a member of all the societies. He's been on Forged and Fire as well. A really great guy. It's a beautiful area. We're in rural Oklahoma. We're gonna go out and kind of check out Ray Kirk's neighborhood, and then we're gonna go into a shop, see what he's doing, how he makes knives. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Park Hill, Oklahoma and Ray Kirk's Knives. I'm here with Ray Kirk. Ray? How do you do, sir? Thank you for having me out here in Oklahoma. He's brought me out to the Cherokee Heritage Center. It has a ton of history out here. We're gonna poke around for a little bit. Pick up some of the tourist attractions. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, why don't you follow us while we take a look at this area of Oklahoma? <laughs> I was born east of town, moved back to Tahlequah in 84. It's a good place, beautiful country, fishing, hunting, wildlife. We have deer and squirrels and stuff in our yard. I don't hunt anymore, so they're safe. How long have you been making knives? I got serious about it in 89. Started forging out old springs and stuff. Read a book on how to how to make knives by mm -hmm. David Bowie. I finally got to meet David Bowie. I teach uh, a class on how to make a hidden thing integral knife. As a matter of fact, I've devoted the last 20 some years to this particular style of knife. Boomerang Diner, I have to look because I've got no memory left. The Boomerang Diner at Hill and Telequa. We're going to go into Ray's shop and uh, make a knife. Let's see. A few moments later. this down so that it fits this hole here. Oh, I see. All right. And then when it, when it slides up to here, then I go over here and I'll use this one mm -hmm. to cut a notch. And do it one step at a time.
we having for dinner? Brown beans and cornbread. Ah. Uh, I don't have a slice of onion. <laughs> you like jalapenos? Love jalapenos. <laughs> I think we brothers, eh? I think maybe so. <laughs> I don't know. That was a good dinner. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sure. had a great time, saw a lot of the sights this morning, right into this afternoon. Um, and then this afternoon, we actually started making some knives, by we I mean you. They're looking good. Yeah, they are looking good. Some of them have a maple handle, we have one with a stag handle. Uh, what's the other one? Purple heart. Now tomorrow, what are we going to do tomorrow? Finish them, Finish them up. We had a great time today, we've got a little more coming tomorrow, and uh, from here in Park Hill. Y'all have a good night, and uh, we'll be back in the morning. See you next morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Ray's place. Had a great day yesterday. Today we're going to be finishing out these blades, uh, shaping them and so forth. We're going to finish the handles as well. A little chilly this morning, still early April. Might be a little breezy today, so I apologize for any issues with sound. But, yeah. Let's go see what he's doing. Once he gets the blade ground and finished, he's gonna go onto the handle and finish out the handle. He's already started on it some. This is the knife for the stag handle. It's a beautiful, gnarly stag, the kind of stag I really like. I'll let you watch, Ray. Enough of me.
Okay, then we're going to grind this back to shiny. That's our next step. knives y'all got to see them from beginning to end i said if you want to order them from us you could do that as well we'll give ray a call here we'll yeah. probably order up your knife and then a bunch more of his because he's he makes great knives thank you ray for having mm -hmm. us thank it's you been, thank your wife been, been really pleasure. appreciate it well, thank you for having us thanks for joining us until next time hasta la vista <laughs> That's I, I think so last okay. time i checked it was spanish